When you play an instrument every day, it almost becomes part of your identity. At this point in my life, uh, the viola is my, is my voice. My name is Timothy Redoubt. I'm a classical musician and I play the viola. The amazing thing about music is the huge range of emotions that it can make you feel. Everything from excitement to sorrow, tragedy, joy, um, it kind of encapsulates the whole thing and so that's why I find it such a wonderful thing to do. My whole childhood music was really surrounding me. So always at family gatherings, there would kind of be a family jazz band, I have an uncle who's a guitarist, and auntie who plays the saxophone, and also many cousins who do different musical activities. So I had a childhood really surrounded by music. I sang in, in the local youth choir, and then for a while I sang in the church choir, I, I sang a lot of musicals. I, for a while I went through a period where I think I memorized virtually every single song that Elvis Presley had sung. Um, so it was really all sorts of singing and that was my, my, my primary musical activity. And there was just this period, I suppose when I was 12 or 13, where the voice was changing uh, through puberty and it, uh, it didn't sound quite as good as it did before. And, and, and I still had this really strong burning desire just to make music and to play. And so then the viola became more and more of my focus. In a way, it was kind of by, by chance, in fact. There was a concert at my local school and all of the peripatetic teachers came and played a short piece. And the viola teacher played the theme tune from Harry Potter. And I said, I'll do that one, please. I think in the cello bass group can be more shocking. I think for a lot of people, uh, music might be uh, a, a, a sort of strange or unorthodox or dangerous career path, but for me it was almost the, the most normal one to do. Both of my parents are actually musicians. My dad is a, a jazz pianist and my mum's a cellist. They never tried overly to dissuade or persuade me to be a musician and just to really leave it open to me and, and, and let me follow the path myself. I, I was never forced or, or even too strongly encouraged to practice as a child. They did let me know sort of uh, how difficult the profession is. It's not an easy thing uh, to do. There's a lot of people who, who would love to play music as, as their life and career, and therefore it's quite competitive in a sense. The fascinating thing about the viola is the register, where it sits uh, pitch-wise. The, the first violin is always like one octave higher at least. Yeah. So it's, like, it sound really it's right between the violin and the cello and it gives a really unique sound. It's very much its own sound, but at the same time the possibility to, to, to straddle and explore the, the more bassy sounds and also to, to go virtually as, as high as, as the violin does. And that, that gives a possibility to play a, a broad repertoire with a lot of different sounds. In my career these days, I travel around the world performing concerts as a viola soloist and also as a chamber musician. The thing I love the most in a way about this career is the diversity of different activities that I get to do. I really love exploring the different roles as well that a viola is capable of, of, of playing a sort of solo melodic passage or, or playing something very virtuosic, or also playing an accompaniment figure and sometimes supporting other voices. One of the amazing things is you can play the same piece a hundred times, but because of the different circumstances, the different halls that you play in, the different audiences that you play for, the different colleagues that you play with, there's always something different, something unique. Um, and I, I, I love that. <laughs>